Alright, so I've been making a lot of different genres lately, and I wanted to switch it up again since I received a comment a while ago asking me to make UK Garage, or like drum and bass, something like that. And to be honest, I don't really know what I'm gonna come up with this time, but this track came out recently that for some reason I'm addicted to. It sounds pretty chill, so I think I'm gonna try and make something similar. So in today's one, I'm going to be making a beat in the style of Pink Panthers. Alright, so we're in FL Studio once again. I think instead of UK Garage for this one, I'm going to go for like a more drum and bass style. So I think it's going to be 161 BPM, something like that. And the reference track has like a really lighthearted guitar melody. And while I could program that myself, I think I'm just going to go into Splice and see what I can find. <laughs> okay, I can definitely use that. I love the little bit of white noise that it has when the guitar plays as well. It looks to me that some parts of the sample are like slightly out of time. So I'm going to chop it up a bit and make sure it's all quantized. All right, before adding any drums, I'm going to add a couple of melodic elements to this just to fill out the sample a bit more. I'm thinking maybe an electric keyboard or something. I don't know. I found this really nice splice pack recently filled with a bunch of serum keys. And these are probably some of the best serum preset sounds I found in a while, so. I think I might just lay down some chords with this. I'm gonna copy that over. Alright, that's exactly the vibe I'm going for. I think to make it a bit more chill, I'm going to strum some of the notes just to get a different sound. I think I'm going to lay that with something else. Okay, this one's slightly detuned, but I think it's going to work anyway. So I'm just going to copy and paste the chords over. I think I'm getting somewhere, I'm not too sure. I noticed in a lot of old school jungle music, there's a lot of retro sounds and vibes and bells. So I don't open this VST too often, but I'm gonna open up Purity and look for a bell or something that I can use for an R. All right, I'm gonna copy and paste the chords into this bell, and then I'm gonna randomly arpeggiate the notes like this. And then hopefully that gives me the effect I want. It's starting to sound a bit busy, but I think that's kind of what I want. But now I think it's time for a bass line, so I'm going to open up Serum again. I've been using a lot of Serum recently, I don't really know why. Probably an uncommon bass line for drum and bass, but I found it in this splice pack again. real quick. I think I've used this VST in like three or four videos in a row now, but kind of addicting once you start using it. I just want to make I just want to make the way I feel Alright, I think I got something. Hold up. Okay. Be there for you I just want to make I just want to make I just want to make Be there for you I just want to make 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 That sounds solid, maybe a bit chaotic, but I think it's gonna work. I think what I'll do is clone this, put the vocal one octave up here, just add a bit more width of the overall sound. So I think before I add the drums, I'm gonna mix all the melodic elements down real quick, and then I'll probably lay down a really quick drum and bass pattern.
on some more unorthodox percussion in here. And this one's a bit too hard hitting, so I might change the envelope a little bit. repeating elements in there because right now all the drum samples sound so atomized. I'm gonna look through splice again and see what I can find. Why was that so loud? I'm thinking maybe a metal element or something like a tambourine. To be honest, I think these drum loops are meant to be used in like UK garage and stuff. I think even at high BPMs, they sound just fine. I noticed drum fills are pretty common in this genre as well. So I think I'm going to add a couple of drum fills. Don't really like how the kick sounds though. So I think I'm going to isolate it like this and then just turn the volume all the way down. So the kick is still sounding, but you can just barely hear it. And I think that sounds kind of nice. I think all that's left to do now is mix and arrange everything and see what the final beat sounds like. So... It took a while, but I think I finally finished mixing and arranging everything. I still think I need a bit of practice mixing these kind of beats. Hopefully the bass line and the kick aren't too aggressive. So I think it's time to test what the mix sounds like now. pretty happy with that. I think main concerns, baseline might be a bit too aggressive with the distortion on there. And the ARP is kind of getting drowned out by all the other sounds in there. I also completely forgot to add effects and transitions, which I'll probably do before I put it out. But other than that, I think it's sounding pretty good. So I don't know, this is a fun one to put together because I don't have too much practice with this genre. It's always fun to try out new sounds and stuff. Hopefully, if you were looking for some inspiration, this video helped you in some way. And of course, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. So I'm going to play the final beat again and we can see what I could do better for next time.